What's up guys, gonna bring you this update video of how the RPG lore is going. Now I've after getting over 160 emails and I'm sorry I cannot possibly personally reply to all of them. I tried to reply to a lot of them but I just didn't have the time. Um, I was gonna do a big bulk email but I just felt like it wasn't, I just, it just isn't personal enough and making this video would have been exactly the same thing, you know. Um, I'm gonna try and go back and send a few more personal ones, but for the most part, I can't really send them all <laughs> personally because it's just it's too much of a time. It consumes way too much time. Before you ask as well, this is just a single player world, and I have two mods installed: Better Dungeons, which is all this shit, um, which is all these pre pre generated dungeon things that appear everywhere, and I have more creatures. Just so if you see anything weird, that's what it is. So getting into it, I picked a lore. Um, I, uh, I, I'm going to give a brief description of what it is in a few minutes. Um, besides that, um, again, I just want to say thanks. There was a lot of people that put a huge amount of effort into it. I mean huge. And I, that's what just sucked so much that I could only pick one and I couldn't reply to everyone because so much of them were just weird. So much of them were just so freaking good. Um, now, if I use some of your ideas from other emails as such, I will give you credit for that. Um, but besides that, I'm just really sorry that I can't I can't reply to everyone. But again, thanks for putting so much effort in. So many, it's it's gonna make it a bit this crazy overall because of the amount of effort that's been put into it. If this is put into the lore, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when we have a build team and the plugins and we have the art department and everything just it's just gonna be pretty fucking nuts um so soon building applications will open but uh, i'll talk about that in a later date there's no point in um going to emailing me about it or anything like that i will talk about that in the next video as in this one we're sorting we're going to be finalizing the lore um so with all that be out of the way i i literally can't say thank you enough again for the amount of effort that people put into it and I just really wish that I could have shown, given you something back or something because people were just writing pages and pages of it and I was just like, I can't believe the effort people are putting into this. It's going to make this so good and I just I thank you so much for it. Um, I even had to get a text-to-speech thing. I got this thing called Ivana or some shit like that. Put them all into text documents and read them all out to me because I was like, if I have to read all these, I'm going to cry myself to sleep. So <laughs> I did that and it helped so much. So I whittled it down to 15 in the end and then I was bouncing between a few of them and I, I ended up sending them all to my, a few of my friends and everyone, they, they all picked the same one and it was the one that I liked myself. Um, maybe it's because this idea was just really it just sounded very appealing gameplay wise um the races are very cool as well and the whole idea behind it all is just very very cool um so without further ado i'm gonna go straight into it actually before that just want to say i most likely will be needing coders as well like people that can actually write plugins because i was on herocraft today and i was uh, i was just running around looking around to see how it's all structured out because it's a very big rpg server and i was noticed by someone and then for some reason i got invited to a personal group and it was the owner of the pay or owner of the page owner of the server and i was talking to him very briefly about his plugins and he was basically just saying to get all these things working you really really need a a, a person that is good at coding if you don't have that you just won't get any of these working so um i will be looking for coders as well so um if there's any out there um be uh, look out for my next few videos which will be most likely asking for um your help um, so no, without with that out of the way, no. So the lore, I won't say his name just yet, and I'm most likely gonna butcher it because I am extremely bad at getting across an idea from some. Oh, cute, um, from someone else. So are those made out of gravel? It looks like he's made out of gravel. Anyway, uh, I'm most likely gonna butcher a lot of the names and the uh, names of the cities and the races and all that sort of crap. So forgive me. It is a lot better than the way I'm gonna. <laughs> the, how I'm gonna. It's it's a lot better than the way I'm gonna explain it. Let's just say that. Um. So it starts off. The land is the Asari. I think that's what it's pronounced. I think that's how it's pronounced. And you'll enter the world. Um. You won't enter the main world just yet. So you'll enter the world. Uh, you'll enter this place called the Haven Realm or Heaven Realm. Basically, it's it's just 
uh, a cloud-like realm, city in the sky. Um, it's the place of the Atharii, I think that's what it's called, or also known as the Immortal Ones. Basically, you're, you're one of these to start off with. You have special powers and all this sort of stuff, and I think the special powers are just going to be like running fast and jumping really high, so you're more than a, an average person sort of thing. Um, and the place is a magical kingdom of gold and luxury. Crime is very rare. Uh, I'm basically reading now what he said. He said, but when it happens, the criminal is banished. In this case, I propose immediately throwing the player into the storyline by having him or her either kill someone or steal something of great value. Maybe a rare artifact or something like that, but it most likely have to be confiscated afterwards. Burp, physics. Um, <laughs> and so basically it's going to start off you're 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 in this haven realm and there's going to be something that's going to there's going to be there's going to be a quest line you follow and it's going to get you basically kicked out of the realm because you're going to do something that you're not supposed to or something like that but that's basically just a story to get you kicked what the fuck is that thing like a box spinning around but basically you're just going to get kicked out of the realm um that is the weirdest freaking thing ever this is the weirdest mod, my god. But, um, so you get kicked out of the realm, and you got the fuck? Holy moly. That is the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen ever in this game. So sorry, I've, I'm getting completely sidetracked. <laughs> um, Ojo, whoa. What the fuck is going on? This is so cool. But anyway, totally sidetracked. Fucking hell, sorry. <laughs> um, so you start off in this... Oh my god, he's still throwing shit at me. Um, you start off in this realm. And you get kicked out because of some storyline or whatever. It's going to get you kicked out anyway. So you get banished um, into this in-between world, he says. It's an in-between stage where the human realm can meet the haven realm or the, the people of this realm. Here, uh, the player will decide his race and his class and whatnot. So once you've that all done, the races that he's kind of come up with, he's come up with four right now. We might make it more, might make it less, depending. Um, the, um, as I said, I'm going to butcher all their names. The Ru Ruikai? Ruikai? Something like that. Uh, the, he's told me about the main storyline quest, which each race should have. And he's given a good description of the religious beliefs um, that the, these certain people are gifted with strength, especially the, in the daylight because they're, they're stronger in the daylight because their god is the, so, the god of sun. So every time the sun is out, they're stronger sort of thing. Um, they're very much against anyone else that isn't um, believes in their religion or believes in their god. And their main storyline or missions will be weakening the land of the other races power and driving them back sort of thing. And then eventually the player will arrive in this place called the crossroads. Now each of the ra each of the races, mostly all their storylines will end up in this place called the crossroads. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes now. Um, where basically all the fallen ones kind of fight in this big battle. Um, which will decide your um, ascension or descension or whatever. Um, these other guys now are called the Illuminated. Um, they're kind of the opposite of the guys I just talked about. They're kind of, they worship the moon. Maybe they're stronger in the night and all this sort of stuff. He's given a really good description of them. I'm not going to go into it now because I kind of want to uh, make sure I get it. I, I make sure I want to talk to him and refine it before I actually talk about it more. These other guys are called the Knights of the Lucka Blug Lucka Lucka. I can't pronounce it at all. Um, basically, they're they're the followers of this king Tim Timinilla guy. <laughs> so they're very loyal and they follow orders. And uh, but the but um, the storyline with them is the fall the pre the 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 king dies and the land is taken over by a corrupt prince. And how does the player react? Sort of thing with this race. There'll be uh, there'll be um, a few quests or and then he says rather or, or, or then he says something about um you can take a quest to kill the new king or which will make you hated by everyone in this the, obviously this place or maybe you'll do something else maybe you'll become um 
some sort of high general or something like that if you don't want to kill him or if you want to you if you want to let him be the king or blah 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 i'm getting too much into it now um these other guys then are called the spell swords they're kind of a mercenary race um they don't really have any um they're very neutral amongst everything amongst uh, amongst uh, amongst everything amongst all the other races um but he said that maybe there will be something that will kind of unite them more of instead of a mercenary race but they might might unite them into something more because um obviously all this shit's going on um then he talks about the crossroads and he says the crossroads is a place where all major pvp happens located in a ruin that was built by the ones that came before now obviously it's just some sort of ancient race sort of thing um and then he talks about it could be a coliseum a ruined city or whatever suits the pvp theme the most or makes an interesting battlefield and he said it'll be more it'll be a four-way um it'll be a four-way war um with each there'll be also camps four camps adjacent or you know like in a around the whole battlefield each of these camps will be guarded by very strong npcs and um there will be uh, which he says will which would make for an intense interesting in an interesting intense non-stop pvp war zone um then he goes on to more about end game content and how it, how your kind of character evolves into the character you want it to be or whatever he talks about ascension and now ascension will be it will include the player rising back up to being being an immortal once again a mortal one once again or an asari eye or whatever the fuck they're called um he said this will take place in the haven realm where the player can decide to quest for late game content um in the event that the player wishes to take revenge and be a bad person he can kill the immortal king uh, which is the king of that realm obviously um in which case the player then is thrown down all the way to a hell world glorified version of the nether for late game content so it's kind of the same thing both both things will end the same way you are either going to be a good guy and stay in the haven realm or be a bad guy and be brought down to the hell world both will be a very cool looking realm and both will be so each of the realms will kind of be the hub so once you're an immortal one again you can start you can go between them so you can go back to the haven realm and maybe the haven the the reason why you will go back there is maybe that's the only place you can buy skills or maybe that's the only place you can upgrade or maybe that's the only place you can do certain things um and then the in-between world as i talked about earlier that world is kind of the world so there's there's three if you think about it there's the hell world the haven world the in-between world and then the normal world the hell world now the 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 only realms that are going to be gigantic is the one you can actually build in the one you can actually build in is the main world that's like the realm of men the haven world will just be a basically a city in the sky and the hell world will be a city in the nether and the in-between world is basically going to be a tutorial world that will tell you everything you need to know about classes and the races and the history and w kind of give you ideas of who you give you an idea of which way you want kind of want to go with all this um so once you uh then he says um something about in the case of good or evil a player then has late game content to achieve special gear and the like so most likely we'll be making special gear sets naming them something really cool give them some really class enchants and all that sort of stuff and those will be sort of armor that in the late you can only get in the late game content which will be well which is totally to be decided right now that that could be maybe killing certain amount of players or like, killing amount killing a certain amount of descended players or killing a certain amount of descended npcs or something like that you know um so he says as well about a war can take place between the ascended and the descended in the in-between realm which right now is the tutorial realm which i'm thinking but maybe that i need to talk to him more about how it's actually going to work out and um because we want to really make it so that um you you want to go to these places that you don't go there just once and well you go there once anyway to to kind of start off but once you go there you have a reason to go back there um and then he starts he basically just talks about um ascension and dissension and how 
the the realms will work together and how you can be good or evil and basically just that's what he goes on to talk about now i most likely again as i said butcher day made it sound so shit but honestly if you read it it's it's so well written and i'm just so bad at <laughs> basically reading it out to you i should have just read it out it would have been way easier or it would have made way more sense but it probably would have taken it a while because it's quite long um especially the parts about each race and how each race is and what their capital city is supposed to look like and you know all that sort of jazz um so basically i've emailed this guy asking him to add me on skype so once i talk to him uh, and if he's still interested we start getting to work on a map and how it all should be laid out um, and then once we have a map and how each realm should be laid out once that's done then we will start talking about builders and getting a, the theme of each place out and then we'll probably do some time lapses big time lapses with all the builders um, that's pretty much it again I'm um, I I've, as again as i said i most likely fucking butchered his idea it's on it, it's so much better than how i explained it it really really is so don't be too worried if it just sounds if i made it sound crap because it is a really good idea um so with all that being said um that's pretty much the gist of everything um i don't think there's anything really else to talk about so leave your suggestions down below on what you think of um, the idea. Um, well, I'm pretty sad on it right now, to be honest. I, I really, really like it. And again, as I said, everyone I've said it to, or everyone I've showed the email to, not explained it to, because as I said, I'm explaining it right now and I don't think it's going well. But everyone that I've showed the email to, they've loved it uh, more so than all the other ones I've shown. So that's obviously a good sign. Um, pardon the bear, what the fuck? This is so weird. All the bloody things are everywhere. Um... <laughs> But um, th th I'm going to leave it at that anyway. So the next episode should most likely be me creating the world in, uh, or maybe explaining um, the, the layout of the map. Once we have that, I'll make another video about building applications. And then after that, once we get started, I'll start talking about coders. Then we will need um, graphics designers people that are really good at art obviously we can't pay anyone because it's i i well i if i personally won't be able to it'll be all about advertising so if you kind of want to be advertised or whatever um we will make i will make sure to do that um once we have that sort of stuff done we'll we need to start making like um logos and all that sort of stuff most likely this the website will completely change um so we can get a really really good themed website up which will obviously suit the theme of thing we'll have the lore thread we'll have to make a wiki and there's so much to do um but i'm really really looking forward to it i love the idea so far and i really think it's going to turn out well so make sure guys to give this video a like if you really want this to work out because it's it's very nice to get lots of likes because um it gives you some positive it obviously it gives you a lot of positive you think very positive of something when you get a lot of likes of it obviously because you know people like the idea and of course leave a comment on anything you suggest that should change um i think that's that's pretty much it so uh thanks again guys for listening to this very long rant and uh i'll see you guys in the next one bye